after school, I would ride my bicycle to, to the factory and, and we'd make these little surfboards out of the scraps. They're like this big. That was like my first you know, shot at shaping. Because I guess the factory was kind of like my daycare at one point. I've been shaping now for probably close to 40 years, maybe more. I've taught a lot of people how to shape you know, over the years, and he's probably the only one that really picked it up so quick. You're always learning every board, you try and get a little more efficient. You know? I mean, he still teaches me every day. I think any father would, you know, like that, you know, to to pass on your knowledge, you know, uh, to, to your son. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good deal because we get to, you know, work side by side, do things together. And he does it all, and that's what I used to do too, do it all, fiberglass. But uh, no, he's really picked it up, doing really well. <laughs> the hooker. I think we teach each other some stuff because he definitely has, you know, more experience and skill and, and with the planer and the tools. And on the other end, like, I, I might talk to him about how a board performs and maybe equipment that he wouldn't necessarily ride. So we kind of like learn from each other, you know, and we try to like take what was really good about those old boards in good waves and, and try and put like new and old and, and try and make the best of, of both. Yeah, it's like an upgrade of, uh, yeah. of the old designs. Yeah. You know? but, yeah. I think, I think you're always evolving as, as a shaper. Oh, yeah. You're always learning if you, from... If you're not evolving, you're not shaping it. Yeah. It's pretty cool to be able to make a living doing something creative and, and the freedom that it gives me, like it allows me to do all the other stuff that I like to do. So it's, it's pretty rewarding. It's a living. <laughs>